The zone of interest is about the commandant of Auschwitz and his family and the life they lived in a nice house and over their garden wall was Auschwitz functioning. We kind of saw it as two films, a, a film that you see without any violence and a film that you hear that we introduce this violence. On the other side of the wall, there was murder happening all the time. We went to great lengths to be accurate about how sound worked in that space. And the sounds that we used were the result of an awful lot of research. It was really important for the entire project to be as close to the truth as one could possibly get. We shot right next door to Auschwitz, so we were on that soil. We ended up very close to Auschwitz Museum. The cooperation with the museums, they helped us a lot. They opened their archives for us. All the locations there are in the like radius of 20, 25 kilometers, so everything happened there. And I remember just walking around that house and being completely gobsmacked by the truth that I was being confronted with. And you know, we we're shooting in the little girl house. It was a real house, it was her piano. Alexander is based on a real woman who I met when she was 90 years old. A very beautiful story happened uh, when we were uh, fitting Alexandra. Chris was in our original house where Alexandra was living. And on the attic, he was texting me, OK, I found dresses. So during the fittings, I, I showed this dress for Jonathan. And Jonathan said, yeah, let's go. Let's, let, let's go for it. When we saw her on the screen, I cannot imagine her in a different dress. Alexandra would also leave food for people who were starving and dying that she saw outside her bedroom window. She finds music in the tin, and it's a melody that was written by a real prisoner in 1943 called Joseph Wolf. Text from Joseph Wolf, geschrieben 1943 in Oshinchim, Auschwitz III. And it was written during his incarceration, and it knocked our socks off all of us when we heard it. It was hugely impactful, and there's loads of different layers to it. It was a very deep and dark journey to go on. These people are us and our neighbors and how easily human beings can slide towards such an atrocity. And she was the reason why we're sitting here, because there is something other than darkness in human nature. Even in these moments, there is goodness. And she presented that to me in a way that I felt blessed by, to be frank. <laughs>